Well, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. It's a great day to be alive. Any day above ground zero is a great day to be alive. If you would do me a favor on all platforms, could you invite and share? Uh, could you invite and share? Could you invite and share right now? Could you invite and share? If you would do me that favor. <coughs> Bless you, uh, Dijon. Dijon, uh, one second, y'all. All right. If you could invite and share on all platforms, invite and share on all platforms, invite and share on all platforms. Um, thank you. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Who's on Facebook? Y'all don't be saying that. Facebook, uh, invite and share. Let's get the numbers up today. I got something to say. I met with my team today and I'm working on a new book for first of the year. And I can't wait. I got I got a lot to say. Um a day thank you and um appreciate you. One of our administrators lead mods, Nairobi. Um Tuesday and Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, we have a whole together different group of mods, uh, I believe, and I met with uh, a day and some of the team. Uh, hey, Carolyn, I see you over there. And so, um, switching it up a little bit, that, that don't mean that those that are, that are lead mods in here, are, they're still that, but I know that I don't. I don't um, expect everybody to be here every day, so I'm grateful to um, I'm grateful to y'all uh, who are who's here. She can come on up. Uh, appreciate y'all. Um, I want to I want to uh, get right into this because I'm gonna be. Uh, a minute. Uh, if y'all can invite and share. Hey, Brother Alton Davis Jr., Rashida Wright, uh, Ben GT Noble, Facebook. Uh, Joy, are you there? Um, y'all can't hear me on, on Instagram? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Let me go back. know what that's about let me see y'all bear with me for a minute gotta make sure my instagram crowd is good hold on y'all hold on let me go back to instagram put the title in here uh, y'all bear with me, okay? I'm a one man show right now. Not for long. All right, let's go. All right. Um, hey, Joy, Terry, Ann, let's share everybody. Let's share. Let me know that you share. Sharing is caring. TikTok. All right. Today's message and subject is the power of the decree. The power of the decree. The power of the decree. The power of, um, y'all don't know it, but I use decrees and declarations all the time. Thank you, Rashida. When I say, when I say, this is the day the Lord has made, decree. I will rejoice and be glad in it, decree. 
send now prosperity decree i use decrees frequently in in the way that i talk because i know the power of the decree this is the day the lord has made decree i will rejoice and be glad in it decree mm -hmm. send now prosperity decree decree this is the day that the lord has made it's his day all right i will rejoice in his day decree all right i know the power of the decree for scripture purposes job 22 and 28 you will also declare or decree a thing and it will be established for you so light will shine on your ways you will decide what you want message bible and it will happen <laughs> you will decide hello uh she three i don't know what it is but you know who you are thank you for the love you will decide what you want and it will happen my man she came i'm sorry you will decide what you want and it will happen you will decide what you want once you decide what you want it will happen thank you once you decide what you want once it comes out of your mouth it will happen if you decree a thing declare a thing same same thing what are you saying what's coming out of your mouth when you understand the power of the decree hmm? decree is an official command that has the backing of the full force of law decree brother brandon is a an official command that has the backing of the full force of law and to establish is to put up something on a permanent foundation so when christians decree a thing they have the full bagging of god and it's permanent now, 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 because decree is a principle, it don't just work for Christians. The difference is for Christians, we believe that when we decree a thing, God establishes it. These are principles and principles work no matter who's using them. They established the will of God on earth. Lord, let your will be done. Decree on earth as it is in heaven. Decree. Early and shady, hello. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? When you decree a thing, not only earth gets busy, but the heavens get busy also. You are a dual citizen. In the midst of Job losing, I'm not teaching about Job. In the midst of Job losing everything that he had. 
He said, if you decree a thing, it shall be established. Established. Unfortunately, many believers are not exercising this authority in Christ Jesus, which, which is by word of, of mouth in faith. By word of mouth in faith. You're saying something that has not yet happened and God picks it up and establishes it on in heaven and in earth. Lord, let your will. Are y'all getting anything yet? Because y'all mighty quiet. Huh? And this is the word of faith. I learned that most believers, I learned this 20, 30 years ago as a young pastor. I start, uh, um, I start studying Dad Hagen and Kenneth Copeland and the faith guys. And I learned the believer's authority that most of us don't walk in. Most of us, we don't really know how to use our authority. We don't even realize, Stacy, I need y'all to share this room, that we even have authority. We don't even realize, Kimberly, that when trouble comes, we have the believer's authority. We walk in authority. Y'all not saying nothing. And so that's the reason why the enemy can do anything. Anything that he wants to do to us. Because we don't have authority. We don't know that our words have the backing of heaven. That when we say it, you already know that life and death is in the power of the tongue and you bear the fruit of what you say. We bear the fruit. Life and death is in the power of the tongue and they that eat it. Huh? You bearing the fruit of what you say. You don't like what you're getting, then you need to start decreeing something different. So if you don't like what you're getting, change what you're saying. The power of the tongue. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Thank you so much. If we zero on the word power, and not so much on the tongue. We know how to work our tongue. We, we know how to say stuff. But we have no power with it. Because we don't understand. When you don't understand nothing, when you don't understand something, and it, does, it doesn't have the same force, Dawn, as when you understand it. If you ever understood the authority of your words and your decree or your edicts, then you would be careful. You would even play around with your words. We don't understand, <laughs> Prophet Jerry. We don't understand the authority that we stand in as believers, especially as believers. I learned this from Dad Hagen. I learned this from Kenneth Copeland. I was Baptist. But I knew that there was more. I know if we would ever understand. I decree healing in my life and my family. That's right. Let's get it to going. Let's get it going. If we ever understood. That heaven bags what we say. If we ever understood that God bags what we say. If we really believed our words. we wouldn't be able to be stoppable. If we really believed our words could do what we say, we wouldn't talk the way we talk. Glory to God. If you understand that, that, that your words have the ability to be change agents, 
How do you get that kind of authority? How do you get that kind of authority that when you begin to speak? Number one, you got to have a prayer life. What is a prayer life? It's a two-way communication between you and the creator. Some call it meditating. Some call it prayer. I know I got all kind of people in here. So I'm going to talk because I got all kind of. You got to have a prayer life. You got to have a prayer life. You got to be able to communicate with God. That's where your power source is. If you're going to have authority, then you have to use your power source. And your power source is God. Y'all not saying nothing. Your prayer life. Your prayer life. You got you to gotta spend time with God to get that kind of authority and to get that kind of power. Hezekiah Walker has a song. He says, power belongs to God. We don't like that kind of talk because it means that you have to take time out from your busy schedule and gain authority. You should be walking in authority. You should be talking in authority. Number two, you have to have the right motives. Your motives can't be shaky. Your motives can't be, y'all not saying nothing. Your motives can't be off. You got to have the right motives when you are when you are talking about using your mouth using your authority decreeing because when it comes out of your mouth heaven bags it up and you got to be careful you got to be careful what you say even in jesting even in in laughing even in 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 and oh it was just a little jokey joke because your words, your decrees have power. Number three, you got to have good hearing. You got to have good hearing. Because before you can say it, you got to hear it. Lord have mercy. Y'all, y'all not saying nothing. Huh? You got you gotta have you gotta have good hearing to make sure that when you say something, you've heard it from God. Back, back to the prayer. You got to have good hearing. That's why the, the enemy tries to distract you and clogs up your, your hearing. That's right. Look at y'all. I decree health and cancer take me out of the... I decree and declare cancer can't take me out of the world. I decree and declare the IRS will release my money. And I decree and declare I agree with you, prophetess. That's it. Get your mouth to moving. Huh? Do y'all hear me? Number four. Believe what you say. Expect what you're saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe what you say. And expect what you're saying. Don't just decree something in prayer. I'm going to try this what Bishop is saying. No, you got to believe what you say will come to pass. Don't, don't, don't be petty. Don't be flaky. You know what I'm saying? Believe what you say. When you believe what you say, it'll come to pass. And then number five, know who's backing you. I'm claiming disability approval is coming. I did not know. Say, I decree it. Know who's backing your decree. Know that you have all of heaven. You have all of heaven and earth bagging what you say. You're not just talking out of your head. You are believing that what you're decreeing, I decree and declare I'm healed. I decree and declare. I shall not want. I decree and declare. Y'all not saying nothing. That 26 more thousand dollars and some 
is paying off the startup of groundbreaking studios. I decree and declare that somebody somewhere is looking for me with money for my personal life. I decree and declare 10 Airbnbs. I decree and declare 20 cars for Turo. I decree and declare I'll never be broken another day in my life. Now, now, now let me digress because y'all got me stirred up because y'all, y'all doing it. Y'all doing it already. Y'all doing it already. When a king, Prophet Jerry, decrees something, a king's decree is law. He sends it out. And he has it carried out by those that are his subjects under him. Y'all not saying nothing. A king's decree. It is, it is sent out. It is signed with his signet ring. And it is sent out. And those that serve him establish the decree. Hey! Because he has authority. That's the same thing that happens with your decree. Y'all not saying that. You, 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 you decree it. It goes out. Y'all not saying nothing. And the angels, which are just a little lower, y'all ain't saying nothing. They do God's bidding. When you, you, you got to understand that your, 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 your words Shadda ma se ke la ba so. Y'all, 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 y'all find Pastor Thaddeus for me and 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 Prophet Claiborne. I, I need them in the room, huh? <laughs> whatsoever things you bind, whatsoever things you loose, it's gotta happen. Not, 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 not. Y'all don't believe this. Let, let me let me show you something. <laughs> I won't be long today because we're gonna decree and declare some things in here today. All right. Let, let me let me give you some examples. Let, 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 let's go. Let's go to first Kings 17 and one. All right. Let's go to first Kings. There, there you go. There you go, Pastor Thaddeus. Thank y'all. See, I decreed in the I decreed and declared him in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Elijah was a man. Hold on. Let me find it. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, watch this, as the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be nor rain, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. There shall not be no rain because I decree it. <laughs> Shout out on my soul. Elijah said, Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel is before whom I stand, there shall not be no do. That ain't even right. That, that's just a little, as a do in the morning, you know, the little mist. There ain't going to be no do. Well, I'm sorry, Prophet Jerry. That means God is speaking. Huh? Why it ain't going to be no dew? Why it ain't going to be no rain? He didn't say because God said it. He said, at my word. <laughs> Y'all got to run around talking about God said. No, at my word, because I'm speaking for God. I feel like hollering in here. I might let Claiborne do it. He's a holler. Huh? Did y'all hear what I said? He didn't say. He didn't say. He didn't say. Because God said, he said, he said, at my word. Because he knew that he had the authority bagging him of heaven and earth. And God ain't going to be embarrassed when you got a relationship with him. So you got that same authority, the believer's authority to say, to shut up things, to close up things, to open up things. As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand. 
I decree and declare that the money for groundbreaking studios is coming in. I decree and declare as the Lord God lives in whom I trust. I decree and, decree, decree and declare that millions are looking for me. Businessmen are looking for me. I will want nothing. I shall not want. That's it. Boy, Shakim, that's a God man right there. I don't know. I don't understand. Y'all should be all in the DM. I'm sorry. He says, I open heavenly portals over my home. <laughs> yes, sir. I like it, Shakim. Elijah said, there will be no dew or rain. And listen, he said, these years, he's stopping rain, not for a day, not for a week. He's specific. He has specificity, specificity. He's saying, for years, it will not rain because I say. Y'all not saying nothing. I'm being specific. Hallelujah. Nine people plus ten say hallelujah. Thank you, Joy. I decree over your life that everybody that's a part of WTROC, every extension, every branch, the commanders, y'all not saying nothing. Huh? The house of investment. The Bible class. Huh? A day's Bible class. I decree and declare. Dr. Ezra, she's still a part of us. Huh? I decree and declare Prophet Jerry's uh, room. I decree and declare Prophet is Nina's to come. I decree and declare. You know why? Because I say so. <laughs> oh, y'all remember, don't you? Y'all don't remember that. Uh, uh, Prophet Prophet Williams don't remember that, but Prophet Claiborne remember it. Uh, Prophet Claiborne remember when you used to ask your parents, say, why can't I go to the store? They didn't have to have a reason because they decreed and declared, you ain't going to the store. Why can't I go to the store? I ain't got to have no reason, boy, because I got authority because I said so. Because <laughs> I say so. Hey! I ain't got to give the devil no reason. You can't have my family. You can't have my body. You can't have my mind. Because I, because I, because I say so. Elijah said, except at my word, it ain't going to rain unless I lift this decree. Ain't going to be no do unless I lift this decree. Huh? Ain't even going to be no water, huh? Because I say so, huh? Who you think you are, huh? I'm Kimberly Dabney, because I say so. You got to know the authority. I'm done, y'all. You got to know the authority that you have as a believer. You got to know that you are a joint heir. The problem is we can't say so because we don't believe so. We can't say so. Because ain't nobody taught us that we have the authority as believers. Y'all not saying nothing. So I, so I say so. Huh? Get your, y'all y'all keep here Claiborne saying, and then y'all think he cussing and y'all, get your ASK up. Add a K to it. Get your ask up. Get your decree. Matter of fact, we ain't even asking. We decreeing it. We saying it so. And God said, let the let there be light. And it was so. And God said, let the waters divide the waters from the water, which was above the waters. And it was so. And God said, let us make man. And it was so. And God said, it's not good for man to be alone. So let's find you a wife. And it was so. He didn't say wife. Companion. And it was so. Why aren't you using what you got in your arsenal? 
Why are you just sitting around letting the enemy just play games with you and play in your face? The enemy is playing in your face. Patty cake, patty cake, and you're letting him. I had to hit Prophet Claiborne earlier. Huh? I said, man, pray for me. And in, in three minutes, I came up out of it. I started decreeing and declaring over my life. Y'all not saying that. I have moments too, just like y'all. The only difference is I'm called and I'm consistent and I keep doing it. Do you hear what I'm saying? Let me give you another example. Y'all say that's the Old Testament? Okay. Let me go to James 5 and, five, five and 17. Let, no, no, no let, let, let me, I'm sorry. Hold on. Stand by. Let me read the rest of this scripture. For three years and six months, he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. He shut it up, and he opened it up. It works both ways. As He shut it up. You don't want crime in your neighborhood? You close it down. You shut it down with your decree. Y'all not saying nothing. You don't want the burglar to come to your house. You shut it down with your decree. You don't want lack coming to your house. You shut it down so that it won't happen. Y'all not saying that. You want the right one to come. You speak up. You want the wrong one to go. You shut it down with your mouth. I dare you to say, God, if this ain't for me, let it leave me. Woo! Oh, na, 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 na. I said, what? I said, if you want it to come, you bring it to you. You want it to leave, you shut it down. Because you got authority with your mouth. Let me give you another example. Y'all want to go? Y'all want, want another scripture? Let me give you a New Testament. Acts 13 and 11. Acts 13 and 11. Acts 13 and 11. When El Elmias tried to turn away the deputy Sigeus Paulius from the faith, Paul pronounced blindness on him and it was so. Did y'all hear me? Did y'all hear me? When this brother tried to turn another from the faith, Paul pronounced blindness on him and it was so. Y'all don't know how to decree and declare over your life. Even people, even things and people, witches and warlocks that try to hex you and, 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 and put things on you, you can shut them down with the power of the decree. But when you don't know that you have that authority, when you don't know that you have that power, you sitting there letting people mess over you on your job. Decree them out of there. Not, 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 not. You got to remember, you can't use this to manipulate. Remember, go 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 back to the points that I gave you, huh? You got to have the right motives. You can't just use your authority because whatsoever man soweth, your motives got to be right. Now let me tell you a few things about decreeing. Number one, decree brings it to you. <laughs> Prophet Jerry, don't make fun of me and my points. When you decree, it brings things to you. Huh? It brings things to you. How in the world, in a week and a half, Bishop Davis, did, did have you raised almost 20, right shy of $200 of $24,000? Just $26,000 away in, in, in a week and a half tomorrow. How did you do that? Because I decreed it to me. 
I called it in. Now you can believe them people that tell you, oh, that's that, that's that uh uh haul it and call it. Say, yep, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, because the Bible says if I speak to the mountain, y'all ain't saying nothing. I can speak it. Well, I'm going to hit myself. Huh? The decree will bring it to you. Huh? You ain't decreeing the right one. You too busy talking about the negativity of the wrong ones. You ain't decreeing the right one. You too busy complaining about what you've been through. You ain't decreeing the right one. You can't be. And believe in it. Huh? You, that's another word for it, Michael. Huh? When prophet, when prophet Claiborne calls you the commander, and he has his room commanding, command your morning, decree your morning, command your morning, decree your morning. He's telling you before you even get started, <laughs> I ain't got to teach his lesson. Before you even get started, before you even put your feet down on the floor. Prophet of Shaniqua, I see you, you, you probably can't come up. You command your money, you decree it. When Prophet of Shaniqua called and, and said, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, uh, my daughter, uh, we can't find my daughter. What do we do? We start, we start praying her home. That's a decree. See, we don't pray right. You don't pray begging God. You pray decreeing. Whenever I pray, my pastor has me. Um, I don't know where where they got you know. Whenever he stopped, whenever he finished preaching, and the anointing is how we had prayer service this past week at six a.m. in two of our locations. He has me pray, and I start decreeing and declaring things. I start when you decree and declare things, you start moving things around. You have the power to bring things to you. So decree and declare, it brings things to you. It brings, wealth and riches are in my house. Y'all y'all not y'all should be repeating this. Wealth and riches are in my house. He daily loads me with benefits. I decree and declare, send now prosperity. I do it every day. That's why not one day of my life, there's not money coming into my, I don't care if it ain't but a dollar. Because I say every day of my life, Gigi, I say it. I decree and declare. You got the authority. And when you say it's nothing in you, but it is in him, you call heaven into record. And when I say it, I'm not just saying it. Thank y'all for the likes over on TikTok. And when I say it, I have full authority bagging me from heaven and earth. Y'all not saying nothing. So number one, the decree brings it to you. Number two, the decree creates. I said the decree creates. When God decreed the heaven and the earth in Genesis 1, he was decreeing creativity. He was taking something. He was taking nothing and making something out of it. Your decree has creative power. That's why it says, if you decree a thing, it shall be established for your sake. Because it creates, it establishes something. It establishes, it brings something forth. It brings something to pass. It brings something into fruition that was not there. And that's what faith is. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. The seed today, the seed today is 54. According to Isaiah 54, and I will read it at the end. The seed today, uh, your seed of faith, and I want you, to decree wealth. Do not give it 
unless you're not decreeing wealth. And you're going to see it happen. 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 The seed today is 54. They said on, on, on Instagram, I don't say all the given information. It's dollar sign Greg Davis 10. It's PayPal, contact Greg Davis at gmail.com. It's Givelify, Greg Davis Ministry. It's Zell, Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. Uh, Venmo is at Greg Davis 1. The seed today is an establishment seed. It is the seed that God is sending wealth. You're sowing 54. Three of sowing 108. That's double. Isaiah 54. The scripture in Isaiah 54 talks about enlargement. Say no, brethren, because you could not sing. Huh? But there shall be enlargement. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. He's enlarging your territory. There are 20 that are sowing 54. There are three that are sowing 108. You're decreeing and declaring over. Do not give the seed unless you believe. Do not give the seed unless you decree and declare over the seed. There are 20 of you. There's 65 people in here. There are three that are giving 108. The decree creates. I'm creating something. I got 18 minutes. I'm creating something. Stephanie Pride, who's my project manager, uh, over since she's been with me for 30 years almost, uh, well, at least 20 something years, uh, uh, she texted me today. She said, she said, Bishop, the chairs are here. <laughs> she said, I'm going to send the maintenance guy, or either I'm going to go and, and, and get him out and put him in. The chairs are here. I said, take a picture as they're coming out of the box. My chairs are here. The first set of chairs for the table talk. Because I'm decreeing and declaring. I'm creating. I said, I got to show the people what they're doing with their money. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. Do you know? Hey, and God said, and there was. Did y'all hear what I said? Huh? God said, and there was. He decreed it, and it came forth. Number three, the decree shuts it down. Lord have mercy, Prophet Jerry, you ain't saying nothing. I said, if you want to shut some stuff down, decree it. You want to shut sickness down, decree it. Thank you, Prophet Jerry. And he sent his word and healed them. And he sent his decree. And it was established. Ha, ha, ha. I feel like teaching. Huh? What are you decreeing? What do you need to shut down? Stop complaining about it and use your mouth and shut it down. Shut it down. Elijah said, there'll be no rain. Ain't no rain came for three and a half years. Ain't gonna be no rain. Cause I said it. It ain't gonna rain. Everything gotta dry up. I'm shutting it down. You wanna know who's in charge? Huh? I'm large and in charge. The decree shuts it down. What do you need shut down? What do you need shut? Who you need to stop talking? That's it. That's it, Yvonne Smith. She said, I shut down poverty. I shut down poverty. I shut down poverty. Hey, Rapid Revive, I need to see you Saturday. I shut down poverty. I shut down poverty. I shut down lack. I shut down cancer. I shut down sickness. I shut down disease. I shut down memory loss. I shut down cataracts. I shut down every pain that's on this life. I shut it down. It's got to be subject. You know why, Dawn? Because I say so. 
I shut down all murmuring. I shut down every complaint. I decree and declare. And if I decree and declare a thing, it shall be a stat. It's got to happen. What does the message Bible say? You decide what you want, Michael. You decide what you want. And it will happen. Everybody talking. Oh, can't wait for Pentecost. Oh, can't wait for Pentecost. Oh, can't. Pentecost is more than just an exciting event. Pentecost gives you authority. It gives you the believer's authority. The Holy Ghost will shut it down. When you say it, it shall be established because the Holy Spirit, it searches out all things, yea, the deep thing, yea. We're sowing that seed of decreeing and declaring of $54. We're sowing that seed of $54. The given information is up. We're sowing that seed of $54. We're sowing that seed of $54. That is the decree and declare that we, we are sowing wealth. The decree is for wealth. Freedia, bless you, Freedia. Bless you, joy. Bless you, terror. There are 17 more. There are 17 more, according to Isaiah 54. God is, God is increasing you. He's enlarging your territory. Isaiah 54. There are three that are sowing 108. Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. Giving information is on the screen. 17 more while I'm preaching. The decree shuts it down. I shut down every stammering tongue. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up shall be condemned for it is my, I decree and declare. I decree and declare wealth transfers. I decree and declare that my credit shall be 850. It's 800 right now. I decree and declare that it's going to shoot up 50 more points. I take authority over it. Number four, the decree causes heaven to respond and go to work on your behalf. <laughs> Good evening, y'all. Yes, sir, Michael. I need you to holler for me, boy. I need you to dance. I said... Prophet Antoine, I love you, sir. I miss you. I said the decree causes heaven to respond. Heaven got to respond. Because God is not a man that I'm teaching today if I don't never teach again. Because heaven got to respond. And earth got to respond. Yo, he watches over his word to perform. God is not a man that he shall lie. Heaven, you said it right, Shakim. The portals of heaven are open right now. And I dare you to give. I dare you to give under these portals. I dare you to give under these portals. I dare you to give. Heaven, Michael Brown. You invite, you, you welcome in my room, sir. You ain't got to come over. Come on in the room. The decree causes heaven to respond and go to work on your behalf. Would you decree something? Your angels are rusty because you ain't decreed nothing. They go to work on your behalf. Your angels, they rusted and need some oil on them because you ain't decreed. You ain't used your mouth. Shata ma seke lo boshe. Roto ma seke la la ba. I don't do that that much. Roto da la ma se. Heaven responds. And go to work on your behalf. It don't just respond. It goes to work. What? What? You decree and declare what? Pro send prosperity? All right. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven responds and go to work. 19 people put it in the chat. Bless you, Tanisha. Bless you for your seed. There's 16 more. That's going to sow that $54. Now, if you sold 
and you sold other than Cash App, I can't see that right now. So you need to put it in one of the chats that you sold somewhere else. Just say sold. Heaven responds, bags you up. Anda, bless you. Bless you, Anda. Heaven responds. Your decree causes heaven to respond. And go to work on your... The important part, not only that do they respond, but they go to work on your behalf. I sold Cash App, Tara. All right, Tara. I think I called your name. Yeah, I called your name. Thank you, Tara. There's 16 more of you. Three of you are going to sell 108. Three of you are going to sell 108. Hmm? Heaven responds. Huh? And go to work. The decree makes things happen. Huh? The decree brings things that wasn't even thought of. Because the decree is faith. Faith is the substance of things. What? The evidence of things that what? Huh? The decree puts a... Hey, Prophet Claiborne, I need you to preach on this, all right? The decree puts a voice to your faith. <laughs> Boy, I wish y'all could see me. I'm swinging around in my chair. I said, the decree puts a voice on your faith. The decree causes the devil to flee. Because the decree, the devil can't stand when you start calling things as though they are. Huh? We speak, we call those things as though they were. Huh? Bless you, Dr. Paulette. Bless you. Bless you, Dr. Paulette. I think I need 14 more. That's going to sow that 54. Three that's sowing that one away. Huh? Your decree speaks those things as though they were, calls those things that are not to be. Because it's creative power. Do you know the words? Do you understand the power of your voice? Andrea, thank you. Do you know the power of your voice? Thank you, Pastor Thaddeus. I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly Snow. Thank you, Andrea. Do you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? There are 11 more, and there are three to get that 108. Do you know the power of your voice? Do you know that you can't even joke? Do you know that you can't even play around with things? You can't say, I'm broke. You're decreeing and declare. It works both ways. You can't say, I'm broke. I'm broke as the Ten Commandments. You can't say that. Watch your words. Watch your mouth. 19 people put it in the chat and say, watch your mouth. You're blocking your own blessing. You're blocking your own prosperity. I, in the name of Jesus, I call in I call in the rest of the money for groundbreaking podcast studio. In the name of Jesus, I call in witty ideas. In the name of Jesus, I call in strategies. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare new businesses from when the right one comes. In the name of Jesus, I call in new businesses from the commanders. In the name of Jesus, I call in new businesses from the house of investment. In the name of Jesus, I call in new businesses from Prophet Jerry Williams' house. In the name of Jesus, before Prophet Nina even starts her house, I call in wealth. Because I have authority. A 
boatload of money is coming. Because what's in the mouth of the fish? The money, Prophet Jerry, one time, the money is in the fish's mouth. Do y'all hear me? That's our war cry. You hear me? That's the war cry when the right one comes. Do you hear me? I call it in. I call in men will know your name, Pastor Thaddeus. I call in bookings. I call in preachers calling you. I call in seminars. I call in for your wisdom. I call in your book. Prophet Daddy is Zion Douglas. Your name is one of greatness. It should be great. Your household name. Congratulations. Prophet Michael Claiborne, I decree and declare over your life. Marriage seminars, enrichment seminars. You will not be taken for a joke. And I decree and declare that your latter prophet, Michael Claiborne, shall be greater. Don't you cry, boy. Huh? I decree and declare over Michael Claiborne's life that you will never lack. Thank you for the building. Thank you for the Michael Claiborne Center. Thank you for the marriage enrichment seminars. I decree and declare Michael Claiborne will want for nothing. And everybody that laughed at him, he who laughs. <laughs> I decree and declare that Linwood Beal and his wife will take over the east side. I decree and declare grants. Government money is coming. That's it, Joy. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. That's it, Kim. Listen, up. watch your mouth. Huh? I decree and declare that every time Linwood gives, God will give it back. I decree and declare God is sending people to fund the vision because they see him. I decree and declare that Prophet Jerry, his boxes are moving. Hey, his house is moving. His family is moving. And where he moves to will be fertile ground. I decree and declare he will not have to work hard. I decree and declare that no good thing shall God withhold from him. I decree and declare schools, the prophetic schools. Hey, shop. I decree and declare millions. Thank you for the establishment of the Jerry Williams prophetic schools. Thank you, God, for Dr. Paulette. Her books will be bestsellers, her clients. Thank you, God, that every dream that Erica has, I decree and declare over Carolyn and Erica and Nairobi and Prophet Antoine. I decree and declare that Prophetess Nina Fryer will lack nothing. Thank you for the books that are coming out of her belly. Thank you, God, that money is looking for her. Money has an assignment over her. Thank you that money has an assignment over her life. Thank you, God, for the Nina Fry girl's home. I hear the Lord saying, Nina, that you're going to establish homes for girls that have been through what you've been through. And the money is in the fish's mouth. I decree and declare to lead a, the windows of heaven are open over your life. I decree and declare, Shakim, that portals are open. I decree and declare that Sonia Epps, she will lack nothing. She will want for nothing. She is my daughter and I decree and declare she will lack and want for nothing. She will want and lack for nothing. The money and money just keep on coming over her life. Doors will begin to open. They will begin to open. Other doors that's not needed will close. 
Hallelujah. Tara Butler, I decree and declare you will lack nothing. You will want nothing. Mika, you will lack nothing. Nairobi Kimberly, you will lack nothing. Antoine, you will lack nothing. Stacy, Barbette, Fridia, Deshaun, you will lack nothing. Ebony and Harriet. I decree and declare wealth. Tanisha, Alicia, I decree, declare what? Wealth. Ariva, Cheryl, Charles, Mary Rose, I decree wealth. Bernice, I decree wealth as a prophet of the Lord. I said it. Anita, Celeste, Carolyn, I decree and declare wealth transfer. Chanel, Anda, LaCrista, Jay, Trina, Yvonne, Aaron, Michelle, Jazette, Sequina, Jennifer, Miss Joy, I decree and declare wealth. Andrea, Sky, Laquisha, Jeanette, O-K-E-Z-I, Sonia, Allie, Luis, Soul Sin, Alicia, Angela, Stephanie, Melissa, Terrence, Manda, Mo, Lucy, I decree and declare wealth transfer. And the wealth of the wicked. And the Bible says, <coughs> that wealth and riches are in your house. And the Bible says hmm, that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And I'm going to get just what mine. I decree and declare that my next CD, my next single, I believe it's already working, will get played around the clock. I decree and declare that my next book will hit the bestsellers. I decree and declare that a syndicated radio station company is looking for me. I decree and declare that I will want for nothing. My children shall rise up and call me blessed. <laughs> to a thousand, when I'm dead and gone, my name will continue to carry because I'm consistent, because I have longevity, and because I have legacy. I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. I thank you that WTROC, I decree and declare that when the right one comes is growing, it will be the brand. People will seek me out. Not because I'm perfect, but I'm perfect for what they need. Glory to God. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. People will seek me out for wisdom. I decree and declare that my phone is ringing for wisdom and people will come. The qu I decree and declare 1929 people put it in there. What was good, Stacy? 19 plus 29. Put it in the comments. The Sheba is looking for me. The queen of Sheba, Michael, is coming. Sheba is coming. She coming with wealth. She coming to hear my wisdom. I got solution for Sheba. Sheba is coming. Prophet Jerry, one more time. Just do it one time. If you did. Contracts, contracts are being signed. Money is on the table. Unfound money is looking for us. Thank you, God. That person that's going to give $10,000 into my hand immediately is coming. Everything that the devil stole is being restored. I said everything that the devil stole from me has got to be returned. And if a thief be found, what does it say, Claiborne? If a thief be caught, he's got to return his seven times. Y'all not saying nothing. I'm done, y'all, because I'm happy. I got a Sunday morning feeling. Huh? 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 I got a, I got a Sunday morning feeling on a Tuesday afternoon. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm happy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything the devil stole from me is God. I decree and declare no pity parties, 
No mourning. Huh? No hands held down. Lift up your head, all ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting, and the king of glory, Shada, shall come in. Woo! Yes, sir. I'm done. We got to go. Sow that seed of $54. Sow that seed of 108 Sow that seed. So that's Prophet Jerry. Come on, right quick, because I believe you got something to say. Right quick, decree and declare. Come on. I'm not going off the others. They get to hit you through the mic. Prophet Jerry.
release all oh, I felt that in the Holy Ghost I decree and I declare even in the arts and entertainment I decree and declare Grammys I go oh my lady that's for you Bishop I decree Grammys I decree Stellars even for those who are in movies I decree Oscar award winning movies I decree and declare that my that, that what I have is award those of you that are here, you can come to Clubhouse. We're going to finish. I'm closing here. So that seed, so that seed, so that seed of $54 or one away. I love y'all. Blessings. Peace.